Imagine taking your galleries and being able to look at planner, be able to pull planner data into your power app and then look at those through gallery. So that's what we're doing here. And today what we're going to talk about, this is kind of a multi-part series to so see the other videos. But today what we're going to talk about is how to do these counts right here. How do we count the number of plans, the pending tasks, the completed tasks, and then how do we say which plan we're actually looking at? Stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. So this is pretty cool, right? You can click on general tasks, one pending, 39 complete. Click on lush. I have two pending, two complete. You know, I can just kind of go down the list and you can see zero pending, eight complete. Now this box is actually filtered to not show any completed tasks, so we would be seeing them. I have 62 open tasks, 21 are complete. You get the idea, right? So let's go ahead and go back here. Uh, to this one here, we have five complete for L LMWS. We'll go to personal here. We can go anywhere we want to general. Okay, so how do we get these counts? This count here is the number of plans. So right here, just pause the video, count rows. Here's the command. You want to put in planner.list my, my plans and just hit value. And that's going to produce for you that number right there. Now, pending and complete... They, they look a little bit different. So let's see how we do that. So here we're basically going to do a count if based on this gallery. Now, how do I know it's this gallery? Um, because if I go down here to tasks, gallery plans, I can see it right there, the name gallery plans, gallery tasks. Okay. So when I click back over on gallery tasks, it's referencing back to gall gallery plans on what I selected. So meaning when I click on this or actually click on the text, I get to see it. And, and you know, remember we set that up it, pretty easy. We just go here and um, go to on select. Okay. And we can select what we want to go to. Okay. So pretty easy there, but we're just going to filter this now. So we want to filter my tasks right here. Planner, just copy this down. It'll work in your code as well. And then the plan ID equals gallery plans. Remember this right here, this gallery, that's where we're pulling the data from. And then whatever we selected dot ID. And then I want to say, put this variable in there. Percentage is less than 100%. So that means that it's not going to give me any completed tasks. It's going to give me 99 and below. So everything that's pending or not started, I'm going to see in this window here. So that's pretty easy. Okay. So that's the pending complete. Okay. And so with pending, we just say here, I'm sorry, that was our filter to keep all the data, right? That we want. We don't have to have this on there, by the way. I just do because I don't want to see all my completed tasks. The counting is right here. Count if, and then we list this value here again from the gallery plans right here. This gallery right here, right here. All right. Again, the selected ID percentage is less than 100 pending. So I'm, I'm putting in that text. See the space between the quote and the P? That means I'm putting in the text right there. If I didn't have a space, it would be one pending as one word. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Um, so that's the one. And then just to do completed, I just do the same thing. Count it if this equals this. Tell me this. So it's waiting for me basically to select something here in this gallery, which is gallery plans. It's waiting for me to select something over here so that it can do its count here. And you saw that when we flip through it, all of them changed. And then this bad boy here is I'm just telling this, I'm saying, Hey, look, when you select the, the plan over here, I want you to tell me what plan I'm in. So gallery plans dot selected dot title. And this is just a label. I literally just added a label and put that in under text. That's how easy that is. I can do that again here real quick since that's an easy one. So if we just put the label in there, I'm just gonna copy it so because I don't wanna retype it. Oops. All right. So if we just do that, whoops, Daisy, go to the text right here, text, just delete. I'm having a little problem with my mouse. Here we go. And then we're just gonna go Pink. All right. And then nice see general tasks. So I need to change the batteries on my mouse, I think. So anyways, that's how you do it. General tasks there as well. So pretty easy to do. 
Uh, this is for the count and the labels. See the other videos on setting up these galleries. It's really not that tough.